Hi there, super fan here. Super Cub is a boring show. Eh, uh, before you go spamming my comments below, friggin' telling me how right I am. By the way, while you're down there, why don't you click that like button? Hmm? Maybe subscribe as well, actually. Huh? Before you go spamming my comments on how right I am, why don't you listen to me first and uh, let me tell you why that is actually a good thing, okay? Super Cub is a boring show. Well, I'd say, you know, boring might be a harsh word. I, I it should probably call it mundane, actually. Super Cub is a mundane show in the same essence that Eurocamp and non are mundane shows, right? There are shows that are, you know, as they said, slice of life. Nothing else happens. There's no high stakes. There's no world domination plot or, or friggin' I gotta save my club. I gotta save my senpai. It's my senpai's last game. I must win this tournament, blah, blah, blah. No, none of that. It's just cute girls doing cute things. And uh, some people might be turned off with that. Jesus Christ, I'm like, oh my gosh, nothing happens. She doesn't keep my heart pumping. Oh my God, where's the excitement? Blah, 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 blah. It's a very relaxing, very chill kind of show, just like. Eurocamp? I can't stop comparing it with Eurocamp. You see, Eurocamp for me is like the kind of show I would watch at dinner time. You know, I have a beer in one hand, rigging dinner in the other, and just be slurping it down at the same time. Then Super Cup comes along and I'm like, oh shit, okay, I'm gonna watch this one then. This is like this season's slice of life. And uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. You know, it's very mundane. Like the first few minutes of uh, Super Cup is literally just scenic scenes with classical music playing in the background, you know, it's just going, all the piano's going, I don't know if that's how it went, I can't remember. <laughs> By the way, oh, 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 let me get sidetracked a bit. Yo, that animation of putting on the toes and all that other stuff, that's crazy. Bruh, I love it when Slice of Life does that. Like, they just pay attention to the, all the small details that a person does. Most shows we just like fly off that, just like one scene, easy done, one second. Where was I? Yeah, um, comparing it to Eurocamp. Because they, they gave up such a similar vibe. Like, they're both shows where it's just girls living their lives, enjoying the things that they enjoy. And I like that. I very much like that. Anyways, the, the one thing that sets um, Super Cub apart from other Slice of Life shows is the character, actually. I'd say Koguma is very kind of laid back. She doesn't feel like a stereotype of a um, shy character. You know, she looks so plain, all right? She's got freaking bowl cut, freaking plain ass looking girl. Let me hold up, hold up. I'd say the one thing that separates um, Super Cub with other slice of life shows is the character, right? Koguma does not feel like a stereotypical character. In fact, I'd go to say that she doesn't feel like a character, she feels more like a person. When I first saw Koguma, I, I was like, what the hell is that? Is that that girl from my Japanese textbook? Bruh, look! It's Koguma! Holy shit, look at her! It's literally Koguma! <laughs> it's literally Koguma! She! She! Oh shit, my book's falling apart. I, with her character design, I expected her to be more like you know, Hinata from Naruto, right? She'd be like, ooh, ooh, shy, you be, 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 be. No, she's, she's just normal. What the heck? She's so normal. Like, huh? Yeah, she's a very quiet girl, you know, as, as you would have expected at first. Like, yo, okay, she's, she doesn't say much. She doesn't associate much. Most of other slice of life shows are like really, really ganky girls. Like, yeah, oh yeah, we're doing, we're cute girls. We do cute things because we're cute. You know, I would say she's similar to um, Rin's character from Eurocamp. Oh, I can't stop. I cannot stop comparing those two. She sounds quiet. Her VA, I swear, her VA sounds like she's just whispering and then the people in the studio just like turned up the game. <laughs> yeah, she, she doesn't really show much expression, right? Which is a breath of fresh air comparatively to other slice of life characters, you know, how they're all cheerful and blah blah blah. But when she does actually emote, she still displays that freaking cute anime girl looking things. You know, when you see her smile, you just can't help but feel charmed. This is, I don't know, this is anime stuff. It's crazy anime stuff. The difference between Koguma, 
being this taxturn. Taxturn? Taxturn? How do you say that word? Taciturn. Taciturn. Anyways, this quiet girl, right? Expressing this cute smile. It's just, it's tearing my heart apart. It's, it's friggin' holding it. Kind of feeling, you know? And I like that. I, I really like that. Because, jump another spec here. There. Um, the anime itself actually it displays that kind of difference between that drab silentness and then that cute feeling and stuff. In fact, the anime amplifies that. So, uh, the first half of the show is mostly gray, and then uh, by the second half rolls by, she rides her motorbike, and she goes, vroom. And then the colors suddenly go in, the music kicks in, and suddenly you're flying around with her and she got this freaking stupid smile on her face. And you can't help but feel happy along with her. Yeah, so the anime amplifies the happy feelings by giving you that drab, Kaima. mute kind of first half. And then when the second half kicks in, you're just you're just there with her, like lifted up, like yeah, let's go, up oh, Especially episode friggin' four, when she first changes her oil. Oh, then when she finally like kicks off that friggin' nut and she like gets it all done, like yeah, yeah, oh, and then like after when she friggin' looks at her hand and it's all dirty and stuff, yeah, oh, oh. I guess that's another thing I have to talk about. It's very, very relatable. Oh, I, I relate to that very much because I've done those things. You know, that happy feeling when I finally learned how to change the oil, how to do... Uh, or, or in the <laughs> excuse me moment. Oh my god, excuse me moment. <laughs> this show is very relatable to me, okay? When she first rides that bike, and she feels really happy. I related to that. That stupid smile on her face when she writes it for the first time. I had that stupid smile on my face when I wrote it for the first time. Yo, Koguma is totally me. Oh my god. No, 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 seriously. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, oh, god, I love this show. <laughs> she, ah, yeah, uh. <laughs> Can't. Oh, I just whenever I think about it, I just feel so excited. Oh my god, it's fun! It's a really fun show when you like just turn off your brain and just go monkey mode with it. If you're into bikes and stuff, you would enjoy the show very much because they go into detail on how the super cub works. And I want a super cub so bad, I want it so bad. Oh my god, this show makes me want things, you know, just like every other slice of life show. When no no beer comes out. I was like, yeah, I wanna go live in the friggin' countryside. Let's go. When Eurocup came back, I wanted to go camping. When Breakwater comes out, oh, I wanted to go fishing. When Super Cup came out, I wanted to get a Super Cup. But Super Cups are seven thousand dollars. It just makes me so angry. They costed more than my car. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like the show. I I really do. I really do like the show. And uh, I wouldn't recommend it to everyone, you know. You gotta have, you gotta, you gotta be that salary man. At the end of the day, after a hard work, right? You just come home, you grab a beer, you grab your dinner, and you watch the show. That's the specific moment where you can enjoy it the most. Okay, after a hard day's work, you're just seated there to relax. You forget about everything else for the next thirty minutes. Just watch the show with nothing else in your mind. Enjoy it. That feels good to get off my chest. Like I should do this more often. By the way, if you liked the video, click like, subscribe. Uh, thanks. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Why is it still recording? Bye.